Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you all? <coughs> How are you all? I'm very good. And you? Watch it perfectly, all right. But it is so cold outside. What to do? They don't want us to enjoy Sana. <laughs> right? Yes, ma'am. Sally. Okay. Where were we yesterday? What we were doing? If you could tell. Class. Pile. Don't want to open the camera today. Mom, it's very cold. That's why. <laughs> so what cold has to do with the camera telling you one thing? You are all ducked up with clothes or what? Mom, yes, ma'am, ma because I have to sit properly then. <laughs> It's okay. No, you can wear your caps. You can wear your jackets. Where is the problem? No problems are there. Okay. Good. Aditya Kumar Ganga. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Beta. Good afternoon. Tell me, what did we do yesterday? I think we completed the chapter, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fine, 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 fine. So good afternoon. Good afternoon, Anj. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Angel. <clears throat> fine. So we will do the question answers today, right? B, C, D, E, F, I told you yesterday. We started with the exercises, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Vidushi. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. <clears throat> state whether true or false. If false, correct the state. Vidushi, read out the statement for the first one. Manufactured goods are more valuable than the original raw materials. I'm true. Yes, it is true. Second file. Uh, second one. Cement is an example of a large scale industry. True. So very good. Okay. So next question. Ridhima. Do we have Ridhima in the class? She is not connected to the audio. Angel, third one. Third, sugar mills are owned uh, and managed by the central government. True. No. It's not true. Uh, Ma'am, false. Ma'am, it is cooperative society. Hmm. The sugar yes, mills are run by the cooperative societies, right? So you will write false and you will underline central government and you will write cooperatives, right? Yes, Beta Kartike. Ma'am, as I join late, so please tell the page number. Beta, page number 197, we are doing. Okay. Shall we? Uh, fourth one. Yes. Angel will tell. Okay, ma'am. Uh, Raipur, Jawalpur is a major industrial region in India. True or false? Ma'am, false. It is false. What should be the correct answer, Aditya? Ma'am, there are eight in major industrial regions. Ma'am, on page number 194, it is correct. <laughs> There are eight, but instead of Raipur, Jabalpur, it should be Chota Nagpur region. Okay, you will underline Raipur, Jabalpur, and in place of Raipur, Jabalpur, you will write Chota Nagpur region. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Then, fifth one, uh, Ayush. 
Flex is a synthetic fiber. False. Flag is a natural fiber. Yes. You will underline synthetic and you will write natural in place of that. And it, the statement is a false statement. Right? Yes, ma'am. Tell you. Match the following. Match the following. Uh, who will do this match the following? Anushka will tell. Yes, ma'am. Number one, pottery. Cottage. Option B. Okay, pottery. Number two. Pottery. Option B, cottage. Very good. Next. Number two, leather goods. Option E, small scale. Very good. Number three, petrochemicals. Huh. Option D, mineral waste. Very good. Number four, cosmetics. Option A, consumer goods. Very good. Number five, dairy products. Option C, cooperative. Very good. So, who will repeat it again? Thank you, Mr. Very good. Karthi, can you tell? Yes, ma'am. Karthi, can Yes, ma'am. Please repeat the match the following that just now Anushka has told. Ma'am, in order, I have to repeat the numbers. Ha, you repeat the numbers. Ma'am, it is 41532 from top to bottom. Okay. Uh, 41532. Two. Four, one, three, two. Three. 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 Mm, right. Fill in the blanks. Can we have Karthike telling the first blank? Aditya, first blank. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. In a large scale industry, the various operations are headed by separate functional manager. Very good. Separate functional manager. All I've written. Ma'am, can the department? The functional manager is more appropriate. Right? Okay, ma'am. Next, second one, uh, Ridhima will tell the answer. Okay, ma'am. Dash are product of small scale industries. Oh, yeah. Ma'am, there are many products. You can name any one. Okay. Ma'am, textiles. Um, you can write, uh, ma'am. You tell me. Leather. Leather slide. Leather goods. Ma'am, furniture. Let us write leather goods are product of small scale industries. Ma'am, I have written three. Uh, we, can... Mm, we can write electronics. Let us do one thing. Uh, they have given, see, textiles, ceramics, toys, leather goods, food stuffs, utensils, furniture, and electronics. Out of this, anyone you write will be correct. Fine? Okay, ma'am. Third one, Alin. Ma'am, wow, actually, I was not able to find third, but I was able to find fourth one. Okay, chalo, let us do first third. Um, Ved, third one, will you tell? Packaging materials are considered to be the... Hmm? Yeah, yes, beta. Who will tell? Ayush will tell. Ma'am, I don't know. 
Okay. Mom, may I? May I? Yes, Vidushi. Vidushi. Beta, Vidushi, tell beta. Packaging materials are considered to be intermediators good. Intermediary goods. Intermediary goods. Right? Very good, Vidushi. Packaging materials are considered to be intermediary goods. Next. India and Dash are the leading producers of good goods. Yes, Bhavya. Ma'am, Bangladesh. Yes, India and Bangladesh are the leading producers of jute goods. Very good. Fifth one. Then we have Pile Tens telling this answer. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. The molten iron is run into molds and is called pig iron. Very good. The molten iron is run into molds and is called pig iron. Very good. Now, uh, can we have uh, Alan telling all the five answers again? Um, okay, ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, first one is, in hmm. a large-scale uh, industry, the various operations are headed by separate departments. Hmm, very good. Furniture are a product of small-scale industries. Very good. Um, ma'am, actually, in the third one and fifth one, I got disconnected while hearing, so okay. I was a little doubt. In third one is intermediary goods, okay? Okay, ma'am. Hmm. Fourth one, and I can also tell fifth one because I was disconnected during it that. is pig iron, pig iron, okay. Fine. So, um, the then it is fourth is India and Bangladesh are leading producers of jute goods. Okay. Yeah. India and Bangladesh are the leading producers of jute goods. Very good. So, ma'am, what is the fifth one? This one is pig iron. P I G pig. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> right. So, ABCD completed. Any doubts? Yes. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. To the question answers. Answer the following questions in 10 to 20 words. Answer the following questions in 10 to 20 words. Question number one. Who would like to answer? Vidushi. Very good. Yes, Vidushi. The manufacturing industry converts raw materials into finished products, usually on a large scale by physical labor or mechanical power. Where is this answer given? Which page number? Page number 190. Very good. Page number 190, left hand side, the manufacturing industry, fourth line. Converts raw materials into finished products, usually on a large scale by physical labor or mechanical power. Full stop answer complete. Right? What are the various, yes. what are the various stages of production in an industry? Ma'am, may I? Yes, Angel. Ma'am, page number 190. Uh, on the right hand side, just after the full stop, which we completed right now, obtaining yes. the raw material, processing it into the finished product and uh, distributing it are the various stages of production in an industry. Yes. Obtaining the raw material, processing it into the finished product and distributing it are the various stages of production in an industry. I hope all have underlined. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma Who will tell this answer? Pile? Yes. Anushka, next one you do, let Pile tell this answer, okay? Yes, ma'am. Ah. Differentiate between agro waste and mineral waste industries. Yes. Agro waste industries obtain their raw material from agriculture. Examples are cotton and jute textiles, sugar and food processing. 
uh, and mineral based industries use rocks and minerals as their raw materials examples are iron and steel aluminum cement and petrochemicals very good <clears throat> All have underlined. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Next question number four. Give two examples of festival days in forest-based industries. Anushka will tell this answer. Yes, ma'am. Yes, examples ma of pastoral-based industries are leather goods and woolen textiles. Mm -hmm. Then examples of forest-based industries are paper and furniture. Paper, furniture, and sports goods. Very good. All are done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. yes, Angel. Ma'am, in the second true false, it is saying that cement is an example of a large scale industry. Ma'am, we have written true, but uh, here on this mineral waste industry, uh, the example of cement is giving. So it comes along with category. Ha, it is a small, it is a large scale industry, no? Ma'am, it can also be mineral based industries. Large, large scale, large scale mineral based industry, yes. Ma'am, on page number 191, in large scale industry, last second line, it is given. It is already given. Cement yeah. are some examples. Examples of the large scale industries. Wait, cement, what is cement? Limestone, what is it? Limestone mineral, what is it? Hey, no? It is yes, a mineral based industry, mineral yes, industry hai, but large scale. Mein. Okay, okay ma'am. Name some name some synthetic textiles. Why are they much in demand? Aditya. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Some text some synthetic textiles are Rayon, nylon, acrylic, and polyester. They have became become very popular because they are cheap, easier to maintain, and more durable than natural textiles. I'm on page number 196. Very good. Answer is on page 196. I hope all have got this these lines. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma Name the four major industry regions of the world. Anushka. The four major industrial regions of the world are hmm. Eastern part of North America, Western and Central Europe, Eastern okay. Europe, and Eastern Asia. Very good. The four major industrial regions in the world are given on page 194 Eastern part of North America, Western and Central Europe, Eastern Europe, and Eastern. I hope it is clear to everyone. Underlined? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma now, coming to the seventh question. What are the three types of cotton textile mills? Name four major cotton textile producing countries. Ridima will answer this question. <clears throat> okay, ma'am. Yes. Page number 195, second paragraph under textile industry. Hmm. La, uh, Ma'am, uh, ma last fifth line. Mm. There are three types of mills. Spinning mm. mills, which produce yarn. Weaving mm. mills, which produce cloth. And composite mill, uh, mills, which produce both yarn and cloth. cloth. Mm. Cotton textiles are mainly produced in the USA, China, India, Russia. Very good. Very good. All have underlined? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let us switch to F now. Yes. Yes, Ved. Yes, ma'am. Ved, Ved has to say something. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, may I tell the answer? Yes, because F first one. Read out the question and then tell the answer. Okay, ma'am. Distinguish between intermediate goods and consumer goods industries. Give examples of each. Hmm. It is on page number 192. Very good. Intermediate goods industries are those whose produ products are used as components to manufacture other finished products. Hmm. And consumer goods industries are those who, whose finished products are directly used by consumers. Hmm. Second point, for example, tires, packaging materials, and machine parts are used to manufacture finished 
products like cars, packaged foods, grain, etc. And examples are sugar, paper, cosmetics, and automobiles. Very good. Very good. Any doubts, class? All are done? Yes, ma'am. Now, uh, next one. Uh, let us have Ansh telling this answer. Bring out the difference between private sector and public sector industries by giving suitable examples. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. And the answer is on number 192. Fine. Private sector. Under the heading of on the basis of ownership, private yeah. sector industries are owned and managed by individuals or a group of individuals. Tata, Iron and Steel Company, Reliance Industries, Aditya Birla Group of Industries are examples of this type. And uh, public sector industries are owned and managed by the central or state governments or their agencies. Steel Authority of India Limited, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited and Durgapur Steel Plant fall into this category. All I underline. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Describe the process of steel production. Question number three. Ved will tell again. Yes, Ved. Ma'am, don't know this answer. Okay. Angel will tell this answer. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, on page number 194. Okay. Uh, under the heading iron and steel industry, second uh, paragraph, mm -hmm. the raw materials used in the iron and steel industry are iron, iron ore, coal, limestone, and manganese, uh, manganese. The iron ore is mixed with coal and limestone and is sm uh, smelted together in a glass uh, furnace. Mm -hmm. The molten iron is run into molds and is called pig iron. Mm -hmm. After it solidifies, it is hard and strong, but very brittle as contains impurities. The impurities are removed and pure iron is obtained. Some carbon is mixed with the pure iron to make steel. Yes, ma'am, this much only. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Shall you? Classify industries on the basis of size of G part of the exercise. Classify industries on the basis of size. Bataye, who will tell this answer? Alind will tell this answer, Alind. Okay, ma'am. Yes. On the basis of size, there are the on the basis of size, there are three types of uh, industries. Cottage industry, small scale industry, and large scale industry. Cottage industry are the industries are the household industries mm -hmm. in which the craftsmen make goods in their homes with the help of their family members. Mm -hmm. They invest very little capital, uh, mm -hmm. use low uh, um, raw material and simple tools. They the for some industries, for example. Pottery, uh, pottery, baskets, textile, jewelry, etc., are examples of cottage industries, mm -hmm. small scale industries. Mm -hmm. Small scale industries employ some labors and use power driven machines. Raw materials are obtained from outside and products are sold in local as well as outside markets through the traders. Mm -hmm. um some of uh, some industries like uh, leather goods uh, furniture electronics etc are examples of small scale industries large scale industries mm -hmm. large scale industries invest huge capital capital employ thousands of laborers capital is capital okay um, capital mm -hmm. Large scale industries invest huge ca huge capital, employ thousands of laborers, and use power driven heavy machines. Raw materials uh, raw materials are obtained from outside, and something sometimes import. Hmm. And sometimes, 
um, finished products are distributed all over the country or exported. Some industries like steel, in the iron and steel, textile, heavy machinery, transport equipment, etc., are large industries. All have underlined. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Fine. Uh, when you are writing about the cottage industries, write your answer in points. Fine. When you are writing about the small scale, write in points. Large scale in points. So that when you get a separate question, that what are large scale industries, you can write those points that you are have written for this full, complete, lengthy answer. Okay. Yeah. So, now, give an account of the world distribution of the iron and steel industry. Uh, okay, Aditya will tell. Aditya? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. An account of the world distribution of iron and steel industry is... The Great Lake region of USA has a number of steel product producing centers mm -hmm. such as Pittsburgh, Youngstown, Youngstown, Chicago, and Gray. Chicago, Chicago. It Jerry in Europe, countries yeah. such as UK, France, Germany, Luxembourg, Poland, Belgium, Sweden, and Ukraine have large scale iron and steel industries in Russia. Ural Ural. In Ural, in Ural is the most important steel producing region. Japan is the major producer of steel and has large center in Osaka, Kobe, and Tokyo, Yokohama region. Other steel producers are China, India, Australia, Brazil, Venezuela, Chile, Algeria, Zimbabwe, and hmm. South Africa. Hmm. In India, hmm. we can write about India also. Huh? In India, yes. the iron hmm. and steel industry is concentrated in the Chota Nagpur and Deccan Plateau. The main centers are Jamshedpur, Bukaro. No, no. Up till up till Deccan Plateau only you write. That will be fine. Now, when you are writing about the iron and uh, see the question is asking you. Account of the world distribution of iron and steel industry. You will write the world distribution of iron and steel industry is as follows. Right? Then you will write USA. The Great Lake region of USA has a number of steel producing sectors. Full stop. Okay? Then you next time you will Pittsburgh, Youngstown, Chicago, Gary. Then in Europe, UK, France, Germany, Luxembourg, Poland, Belgium, Sweden, Ukraine have large scale iron and steel industries. Then in yes, Russia, Urals is the most important steel producing region. Different, different points. Don't write it like paragraph, beta. Fine. You will also get confused in remembering. And when you will write in points, it will be very clear to you people. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Japan, Osaka, Kobe, and Tokyo, Yokohama regions. Uh, <clears throat> then China, India, China, Australia, Brazil, Venezuela, Chile, Algeria, Zimbabwe, South Africa are the countries where iron and steel are produced. Second, you will write in India, <clears throat> iron and steel industry is concentrated in the Chota Nagpur and Deccan Plateau regions. Fine? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, ma'am. Ma'am, can you please cut short the G1 also? It will be too lengthy. In point, I told you, no, write in points only. Just a minute. See, now I may give you questions like, where in Russia, the name in name the most important steel producing region in Russia. I will give you questions like this also. I may give you as blanks also because we are doing it in question answers. Right? Right, okay, class? Yes, so, okay, 
so please be thorough with the chapter that we are doing especially the question answers so uh, now you want uh, the classification on the basis of size to be cut short right yes ma'am okay when you will write about cottage industries you write these are household industries ठीक है, these are household household industries managed with the help of the family members, managed with the help of family members. Second, they invest very little capital, use local raw materials and simple tools. Fine. Third point, you will write. They sell their products in the local market. And fourth point, may you can include the examples that products of cottage industries include pottery, baskets, textiles, etc. etc. <coughs> Fine. Okay, ma'am. Right. Okay, ma'am. Same way, small scale industries. Employ some labor and use power driven machinery. Raw material is obtained from outside. Achha, isko aise likho. First point likho. Small scale industries employ some labor and use power driven machinery. Second point, raw materials are obtained from outside. Third point, products are sold in the local as well as outside markets through traders. Fourth point. Products of small scale industries include textiles, ceramics, toys, leather goods, foodstuffs, tea, etc. Fine. Four points done. Yes, ma'am. Then uh, coming to the large scale industries, uh, it requires huge capital investment, employ thousands of laborers, and use of power driven machinery. And, yeah, and uses power driven machinery. Okay. Uses power driven heavy machinery. Second point, raw materials are obtained from outside and sometimes imported. Third point, finished products are distributed all over the country or exported. Then iron and steel textile heavy machinery are some examples of large scale industries. Am I clear? Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, we don't have to write this point. Product uh, production is highly specialized. Then you have to add this point in all the, the two uh, other also, no? Like if it is written, production is highly specialized. So uh, here in this cottage industry, you will write that uh, no specialization is required for the production under cottage industry. Am I clear? And then we will leave it. <laughs> As you wish. I don't mind. <laughs> you want to write? I don't mind. If you want to write, you can write it this way. If you don't want to write, it is okay. Right, class? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma okay, ma Next is uh, think and answer. First one. We will do first one. It is important. Why is the jute industry concentrated in the Hooghly River Basin in India? Can anyone tell this answer? Think and answer. Ma'am, because jute needs stagnant water, so Ma'am, Hooghly River Basin can be a good choice. Hmm. Ma'am, and it also have a fertile, fertile. It is written. Sorry. Arita, it is written. Page one ninety five. If you will open, you will find this answer. Page one ninety five. Yeah, because jute requires lots of water. Yes. See, uh, we all know that the Hooghly Basin is a very fertile region, right? Right. So you will write that the jute industry is concentrated in the Hooghly River Basin in India because of the various reasons. First reason you will write it is one of the most fertile areas of the country. Second, you will write uh, easy 
availability of water transport for exporting to other countries second it is the main growing area of the country right <clears throat> written beta ma'am because of its humid climate and rainfall because of course rainfall is there no because of the humid climate that is found because uh, that this area is near the coast hai na and all the coastal regions they experience they have humid climate right so these are the factors which tends to concentrate the jute industry in the hubli river basin and we have to write this in notebook yes you have to do this in the notebook Ma'am, whenever you say that this think and answer question is very important, then it uh, uh, surely come into the exam. No, this is important in the sense that in class, you know, this is something which you know in every exam of boards they give this question. It is a very important question. So you are in class eighth, you will come to class tenth also, no, one day. So that is why I am making you do it here only so that you can remember it. Yes, we did it in in class eighth, and that time also it was important. This time also it is important. There are certain, you know, ha. Huh, there are certain questions which have great importance actually. See, uh, Bangladesh, uh, other than Bangladesh, India is the only country which has which produces jute. So, आप देखो monopoly तो है ही market में monopoly है इस वजह से इसके जो production को facilitate करने के लिए जो भी geographical factors हैं वो बहुत important हैं, है ना? Yes, ma'am. चलिए. Any other doubt, beta? Hmm? Yes, 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 so you can uh, if you have the notebooks you can start your work because we are left with just two minutes a uh, few things i wanted to tell you i don't know about uh, the other children those who are uh, not attending the classes whether they are watching the videos or not whatever we are doing in the class be it flow chart be it map work be it timeline that we are doing be it anything that we are doing anything can come for the final exams whatever we are doing in the class no one should say that ma'am this is not done this is not done that is not done because i am telling you very clearly whatever we are doing i will surely give you that in the examination fine yes, yes ma'am ma okay ma'am map work is very important i will be giving you complete 5 marks for the map work at least 10 places you people have to mark for the 5 mark 5 marks to score 5 on 5 for the map work right Right, five for history and five for geography. I will be giving. I am clearly telling you this. Okay, ma'am. So please practice your map the way I have told you. Okay, uh, for history, chapter thirteen is done with you all. No. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. In history, yesterday with the other uh, two sections A and B, I did map work. I told them to mark the states of Punjab, UP. you can also write please for chapter 13 mark the states of punjab up bihar maharashtra west bengal and gujarat right these are the six states that you need to mark for chapter 13 right class Ma'am, please repeat which one? Punjab, UP, Bihar, Maharashtra, West Bengal, and Gujarat. 